We have breaking news. While you were sleeping, a dangerous fugitive accused of shooting at a deputy and another person is off the streets this morning. All of this went down in North Georgia in Gordon and Whitfield counties. CBS 46's Tracen Bragg is joining us live from GBI headquarters with new information on that capture this hour. And Tracen, it took a lot of agencies to pull this off. That's right. Well, investigators say the massive multi-agency manhunt for the Texas fugitive who proved to be armed and dangerous lasted for about 72 hours. This is the photo that GBI actually tweeted out after Texas fugitive Dalton Potter was arrested last night. Investigators say earlier this week, Potter escaped after shooting a North Georgia deputy. Hours later, people who live in Whitfield and Gordon counties received this alert on their phones after Potter was spotted in their area. Investigators say Potter actually shot a man who noticed him in the area. Many residents weren't allowed to re-enter their homes or neighborhoods while the search was active. That is, until late last night when the massive multi-agency manhunt paid off and Potter was captured by law enforcement. Officers basically just walked up on him. They were coming out to refresh the batteries and literally just jumped him right there on the spot. No encounter uh, as far as an eventful. Took him into custody. Everything's good. He's now, the sheriff says the man who Potter shot is now in stable condition. It's also important to note here that Potter was originally traveling with a second Texas fugitive. Officials say that man was arrested Tuesday. Now, coming up at 630, I'll tell you who law enforcement say played a key role in helping investigators find Potter on the streets. Reporting live in DeKalb County, I'm Tracen Bragg, CBS 46 News. Also 